In this video I will be showing you how you can install the replay mod for Minecraft 1.17 and above both in MultiMC but also in the Minecraft Vanilla Launcher. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first section of this video is going to be how you install it in the Minecraft Vanilla Launcher and then I'm going to show you how you can do it so much quicker and easier in multi-MC and maybe that will give you another reason to switch and try multi-MC. My entire multi-MC tutorial will be linked down below in the description if you are interested but anyways let's get right into it. Alright so we're starting with the Micro Vanilla Launcher. What you'll need to do is go to this link that will be all the links you will need is down below in the description and go ahead and download the installer right here. Once you have downloaded the fabric installer go ahead and install it so micro version 1.17.1 the loader version should be the latest and then it has the path right here. Create profile and click install and boom, that, that's pretty much it. Now after restarting the Minecraft launcher, you can see here that we now have the fabric loader for 1.17.1, but we are not quite done yet. What you'll need to do is go on Curse Forge and, go and get your hands on the fabric API right here. Again, links will be down below in the description and go ahead and download the latest one. Now here you should have your downloaded file right here. Now what you need to do is open up your Windows tab and press in percent app data and percent not, not that percent right there and go into dot Minecraft and then in here go to mods ignore this and then drag and drop your fabric API into the mods folder right here. And then we need one final thing and that is of course replay mod go to downloads and then 1.17.1 right here press download and save it and just like you did before drag and drop it into your mods folder like so now all you need to do is close those windows and make sure you have that fabric loader profile selected and press play all right minecraft has now launched and you can tell that replay mod has been installed by seeing this button right here the replay viewer or if you go into options and go down into controls you should see the replay mod section right here should have all of the keybinds right here. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this way quicker and way easier using the multi-MC launcher. So let's quit the game and get back to the desktop. All right, so we have my Minecraft 1.17 instance right here. If you haven't already done it, you're going to click add instance 1.17 and then boom, and it will have been created. It's actually right here. I just didn't give it the right group. There we go. 1.17.1 it has been made there you go now just gonna delete that because I don't need it I already have one right here now to install the fabric loader you don't need to download anything go to edit instance go to version and click install fabric select the latest one press ok and boom fabric loader has been installed now you will need to download the fabric API and replay mod separately of course now I have of course already just downloaded replay mod and fabric API if I just take these and press ctrl C or right click and then copy then we can close that and then we just open the micro folder right here and then go into mods and then go into paste there we go they're now installed and if we now go ahead and launch this instance right here give it a second and as you can see, we have the replay mod installed. We have the replay viewer right here. And if we go into options and control, scroll down, you can see the replay mod um, short key the controls for replay mod right here. So there you go. If you want to use the normal micro launcher, you now know how to install replay mod on that. But if you haven't heard of multi MC yet and are intrigued, I will leave a link to my tutorial playlist for multi MC down below in the description that you can watch and learn all about multi MC. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. If this tutorial helped you out and you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. And of course, be sure to subscribe for future Minecraft related content. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.